Benjamin is getting ready to leave his southern provincial town for Los Angeles, where he's determined to start a promising career in gay porno. Benjamin's best pal Dom wants to help him to raise some cash, and persuades him to smuggle an illegal substance from Mexico to the United States. But soon it turns out that the thing that the young men swallowed are not regular drugs. And when some redneck punches Dom in the stomach in a gas station bathroom, the situation begins to spiral out of control. It needs to be said that swallowed is not for prudes, let alone those who have a problem with homosexual relations. The film has four protagonists, and all of them are in one way or another, attracted to their own sex. Benjamin is gay, while Dom is not, but the thing between them is not friendship, but rather a platonic, unexpressed love. A drug dealer played by Jenna Malone is a lesbian. Her boss, despite dressing like a cowboy, can't take his eyes off Benjamin. Here's a curious fact, the boss is played by Mark Patton, who's a truly legendary figure. Many years ago, he played the lead in A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. The role made him a gay icon. However, after making a coming out, Patton decided to quit acting career for three decades. Back to the movie, even the aggressive redneck, who triggers a chain of dramatic events, tells the protagonists to suck him off. I wonder what he would have done if they had agreed. Why is the movie filled to the brim with same-sex love and passion? Well, probably because the director and screenwriter Carter Smith is an open gay who built a career in fashion photography. It comes natural to him to address the topics that he knows and feels inside and out. Unless you're homophobic, after seeing Swallowed, you're likely to agree that Smith's choice was absolutely right. The film wins you over with frankness and tenderness that permeate the relationships between the main characters. And in parallel with this, there are numerous shots of men's private parts at different stages of arousal. We won't dwell on love scenes though. Let's leave it to LGBT publications. Swallowed works best as a crime melodrama that reminds you of Greg Araki's and Hal Harley's works from the 90s. The movie is shot in the fancy 4x3 format, which doesn't take away from its sublime visual style. The song Narcisco performed by Rina Mushonga fills the movie with heartfelt romantic vibes. But the thing is, Swallowed positions itself as a horror thriller, and this is where it raises questions. Questions whose relevance is enhanced by the fact that some years ago, Carter Smith made The Ruins, one of the most arresting and criminally underrated horrors of the 2000s. In The Ruins, a group of tourists climbs the Aztec pyramids in Mexico, only to fall victim to predatory flora. In Swallow, the characters have to face the representatives of Fauna. Without dropping too many spoilers, let us just say that Smith has touched upon that topic before as well. In 2006, he made a short film Bug Crush that lent some of its themes and images to Swallowed. So why doesn't Swallowed cut it as a horror? For one thing, it looks like Smith is not too interested in scaring the viewer. His true passion lies in watching his characters in extreme situations. He focuses not on what they do, but rather on what they feel and how they look. In this, Smith channels his inner photographer whose job is to catch vibrant moments of life on film. On top of that, Swallowed never spells out for the viewer what's going on. To get truly invested into a scary story, we need to know the rules of the game. Like, you do a puzzle, you get a visit from hell. You fall asleep, you get haunted by nightmares. You outplayed death, now it's following you step by step. Swallowed fails to meet this fundamental requirement. In it things are playing out inside on their own, both literally and figuratively. This adds an extra metaphorical layer to the narrative. It's something like love, but it's not butterflies that's in your stomach. But unfortunately, as a horror, the movie is a far cry from what it could have been. Anyway, Smith created a sweet and moving piece of cinema, however weird it may sound when referring to a horror.